And let me ask you, how many of you are White Sox fans? How many of you? That's surprising, actually. Some of you are White Sox fans. <laughs> Whew, I didn't expect any of you could be a White Sox fan. Good for you. How many of you are Cubs fans? <laughs> All right. Good luck. <laughs> uh, we are beating you every night, right? <laughs> and so this is important, friends. This is important. We do not know what the next chapter will hold, but we do know the ending. And it will be happy. It will be a happy ending. Because God has given us the final victory in Christ Jesus. And so you don't have to worry. Jesus once said this, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, hear me out, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Well, let me finish with this. Uh, you know, I love LA Dodgers. Actually, my love for Dodgers uh, began when I was 14 years old in 1995. What happened in 1995? The very first Korean-born major leaguer and pitcher named Chen Ho Park was drafted to LA Dodgers from Korea for the very first time. And you know what? It was sort of a, a national celebration in South Korea at the time. National celebration. And when he was the starting pitcher of their game, everyone in South Korea, from the baby, from the womb to the tomb, everyone, everyone in South Korea, their eyes were glued to TV screens like Americans are watching, um, are watching Super Bowl. Every Chen Ho's game was like a Super Bowl to Koreans, and Chen Ho was a Tom Brady or Michael Jordan in South Korea. He was literally a national hero. But the problem was, because, because of time difference between South Korea and America, I was at school when he was playing. <laughs> I hated to go to school when he, pray, when, when, when he threw. And so, before I left home for school, I always set my VCR. Do you know VCR? Do you remember that? To record the game. And when I came home, I watched the game. And in a particular game, he has a great start. He struck them out during the first inning and the second inning. Great start. But all of a sudden, he's not good in a third inning. He's struggling. And he allows a couple of home runs in the fourth inning. My goodness, it's like a roller coaster. But you know what? Watching the game, I was not anxious. I was relaxed. Because somebody told me the result of the game. I covered my ears and tried not to hear, but I heard it. And I knew the ending. I knew all throughout the ups and downs and twists and turns, he would end up winning. And so I was relaxed and just enjoyed the game. Every detail of the plays. Friends, what I'm saying is this. There will be twists and turns and ups and downs in the game of your life. But you don't have to worry. Because in Christ Jesus, you know the ending. Some of you, some of you are in on the third inning now. And you are striking all the enemies out. Graduation, getting a new job, marriage, success, thriving, promotions. Maybe some of you you are in the fifth inning, and you are struggling. You're allowed a home run. You find, find yourself in crisis. Or you are in the seventh inning, or ninth inning. But friends, you know the ending. The final victory is yours, because God, who began a good work, will finish the game, so you can boldly and confidently move forward with faith and keep Throwing the ball. God is pitching for you. By the way, Channel Park played 16 years in the Major League Baseball until he retired in 2010, and he eventually has the most career wins of all of Asia pitchers in history of Major League Baseball, 124 wins. And you know what? After I came to America, I actually met him. 
at the Wrigley Field. In 2010, the very year he retired after 16 years of his career. I look excited, right? Unbelievable ups and downs and twists and turns, he made it. He made it. He was almost throwing the towel. And his mentor, he gave this statement. Give him the ball. Let him throw. Let him throw. And he made it. Friends, your story is not done yet. Your journey continues because God, who began a good work in you, is still at work. When God pitches for your game, he will complete the game. And the final victory is always yours.